Hey everybody, this is a quick instructional video to show you how you can install the Insight Face Swap bot on your server and how you can use that to add faces to your images. So we're just going to get started. We're in the server for um, the comic um, that, that we created in a previous video. So we're just going to install it. We're going to go over to that URL, tinyurl.com slash IFS Discord. And we're going to open it. And now it says an external imp application wants to access your Discord account to add a bot to a server. It's already selected comic program. So, But if you want to drop, uh, drop it in, you just choose that. You can continue. You want it to have all these capabilities. Then you authorize it. You prove that you're a human being. And that's going to open Discord. And there we go. We can see right here on the right-hand side, there's Insight Face Swap. And it's added to the server. So how do we use it? Well, first we've got to get some faces for it. We've got some faces here. These don't really w work for Insight Face Swap. I'm going to say, let's get an image of, let's say, Gary Cooper portraits, lo-fi, because that, or no, let's say, photo re color, color, uh, let's say Technicolor. So Gary Cooper Technicolor Portrait or Portrait Technicolor. I'm just going to pause this video while this generates. All right, that did not take long at all. We've got our pictures of Gary Cooper. We've got this one here. Um, and we can look at that. That is, it's a little bit odd. I think it took ne Technicolor to mean that it's... Uh, full of lots of different colors, but okay, that's uh, that's fine. We're going to just save this image, and we'll just say Gary Cooper, Technicolor, and let's see. So now we are going to hit this, uh, this forward slash, and you can see we've got some commands here. These are for mid-journey, but if we want to see the insight ones, we just click on this icon. And we are going to click on set, um, let's see, no, we're going to select save ID because we're going to create a new ID. And then we put in the ID name and we put in the file. So we're going to call this Gary Cooper. And then for this, we will take this file that we just downloaded and attach it here. So... And then Gary Cooper was created. Now, if we want to use that in an image, we're going to say set ID. And then we write the name of the ID that we want. So we just set Gary Cooper as the ID. Now, let's say we have a picture of, uh, let's make a picture of a cowboy on a ranch, close up. And I'm just going to pause this while this generates. All right, so we have our picture of a cowboy on a ranch. And he's got a, a cowboy hat on. He's looking a bit forlorn. Let's see if we can take Gary Cooper's face and put it on this cowboy. So we're going to right-click on this image. We're going to go down to Apps. And we're going to click on InSwapper. And the command sent. And there we go. We have a... Decent likeness for Gary Cooper here, um, and it's actually imitated the style. If you remember the the Gary Cooper image, this is kind of like a painting or a, a digital illustration or a movie poster, but in this image, it's made it look like a photograph instead of like a painting. That's uh, That's pretty cool, actually. So let's see if we can do the same thing with... Let's say, um, let's try a Jugendstil portrait of a cowboy, gold and black 
and let's give it a different aspect ratio. We're going to give it the aspect ratio of 9 by 16. If you don't know what aspect ratios are yet or you haven't tried them, don't worry. I'll show you how to do them in another module. But we've got, here are some portraits of cowboys in the Viennese Secession early Art Nouveau style. Let's upscale this one. And let's see what it does. All right, we've got our Vien Viennese cowboys here. So we're going to take, let's try, let's try this guy first. He looks fairly young, and he looks quite different from Gary Cooper. So let's see what the results are. And there we go. It did, I would say, a pretty good job. And it's been able to imitate the style. We're back to the more painterly style. And uh, it's matched the, the kind of color scheme of the rest of the image. And it's got this shadow going across his face. I don't know if it's the world's best likeness of Gary Cooper, but it's, uh, it's okay. It's pretty good. Um, and let's try this one as well. We Remember, we right-click on the image, go to Apps, and click on In Swapper. And there we go. We've got another Gary Cooper. There we go. That actually looks pretty badass. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to save that <laughs> to the desktop. All right. So what do you want to do if you want to have a different ID, a different image ID, and you want to have a, a different face? Well, you've got to save a new ID, and you've got to set it, and that's really easy to do. So let's have an image of, let's say, Bjork. Um, and we'll wait for it to generate an image. And here we go. We've got some cool images of Bjork in very Bjork-like outfits. And we've got these two here. I'm going to choose this one because her makeup is more neutral here. Um, she's got a little bit of makeup here. We're going to see what it does with that. Sometimes it's a little bit unpredictable, but we're going to save this image as Bjork. And here we go. I am going to go to Insight Face Swap, and we're going to select Save ID. We're going to choose Bjork, and then for the file, we're going to go up here and we'll attach the picture of Bjork. And then the ID was created, so if you want to change it to, first of all, right now the ID is set as Gary Cooper, so if you want to see a picture of Gary Cooper dressed like this, we can send that command. And it still doesn't really, that's kind of weird, Hold on. that doesn't really look like uh, Gary Cooper, hold on. Okay, so when I say so when I saved the new ID, I guess it um it changed it over to Bjork automatically. Let me see. I don't think it used to do that. I but um let's see. So I just changed it back to Gary Cooper and let's see what the result is. Okay, that's more what I was thinking. So there you go. Gary Cooper not really the greatest look for him, but let's say we wanted to change it back to Bjork. You hit set ID and you can change it to Bjork. And we're going to go get one of these uh, Viennese cowboys and we're right click, go to in swapper, and it's going to think about it. Sometimes it takes a while, and uh, that's, uh, that's how it is. I'm going to pause it. All right, so as you can see, we now have Bjork as a Viennese cowboy. Um, it's added her image. This looks a little bit weirder, and sometimes that happens. You can see there's this kind of weird shadow here. This is probably some 
issue with adding her face to this image. That that sometimes happens. Um, so it's not perfect, but it is still really pretty amazingly good. Let's see what happens when we add her picture to this. Okay. So this one looks a little bit better, I think. But, um, yeah. And as you can see, it's it's imitated the style of the rest of the picture. It's painterly, and if we add it to a photo, it's going to be a little more photorealistic. Now, let's say you want to delete an ID, and you don't want it to be saved because you only get about 20 IDs at a time. You just type Dell ID, and then you write the ID that you want to get rid of. So this way, if we get rid of the Bjork ID, it's gone, and we'll have to recreate it if we want to use it again. And just a few things about this. As you can see, you get 50 credits per day, and I think every image is one credit, so you can generate 50 face swap images a day. So make sure if you are um, using this that you're only doing face swap on images that you're sure you're going to use, whether that's for your book or your comic book or whatever it is, because you only get 50, and that's probably enough for most people. But if it's really not enough, you can become a patron of Insight Face Swap. And then you get something, depending on how much you give per month, you can get something like 200 uh, face swaps per day. But that's the basics of using this. And I hope that has been useful for you. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye.